Well, hello friends. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, as you can see, I'm cleaning up around some of my little tomatoes. I'm wondering if they're gonna make it to spring next year, but I'm gonna clean up around them and then mulch them real good. And maybe, maybe I'll have tomatoes early. <laughs> Late and early, maybe I should say. Today, friends, I'm participating in an open collaboration called Hashtag Let's Share Our Plant Success or Disaster Stories. Friends, this open collaboration is hosted by our good friend, Janita. And our host channel is Janita's BF Well Wishes Gardening. Janita also has two other wonderful channels. She's got Janita's Black Folks Well Wishes Arts and Crafts. And then she has one more channel. She's got Janita's Well Wishes Grocery Hauls. Friends, if you don't know these channels, I suggest you go over and check them out. But we had a friend that asked a question. And it's a very good thing my friend asked a question because it caused me to take a look for something that I had forgotten. Here's our friend's channel, and his question is, some gardeners plant two seeds per hole. They do this automatically. When you treat all seeds alike, why do some germinate and others don't? You know, when you put seeds in the ground, you never can tell what's going to happen. Um, people do plant two at a time sometimes. I know my husband does when he does corn. He says um, when they come up, he will pull out the one that's the weakest or looks the weakest to him. And I know a lot of people do that. Friends, I enjoy seeing seeds go into the ground. However, I have had an experience this fall with my cabbage seeds. I had a six cell one of these and I planted two seeds in each cell and you know what I got out of there my friends let's take a look this is all I got out of there mm -hmm. one two that's all well friends there is another way to start seeds even though I like seeing seeds going through the ground um, yeah Sometimes I cheat, and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I, well, it's not really a cheat, but, you know, it's just I want to make for sure that when I put something in the ground, it comes up this time because, or it germinates this time, because it's getting late. I already put the kohlrabi in the ground um, in their little pots because they were planted the same time as the cabbage. And you would see that cabbage is kind of a nice size. If I went to the store, I would probably buy something maybe just a little bit bigger than that. So, um, yeah, it's time. Time is ticking here. <laughs> and I've got to get my fall garden started. So I'm going to show you another way to start seeds. But I also use another method. I don't all the time have to start in ground. I don't know if you've seen people do this before, but I have some ca some uh, cabbage seeds. And I'm going to start them chitting. That way I can see who's going to germinate and who isn't. That's just the easiest way for me to do it. Say these are easy, so look at them. Should have probably done that the other way. And then I'm going to put some water. Just enough to wet that. Yeah, and I'm going to just put this in a warm spot. I'm going to take it back in, that means, because my nights are starting to get kind of chilly. In a warm, dark spot, and in a couple days, more like seven. Isn't it like a seven thing? Seven days? Oh, ten. It's ten to twelve days. These will germinate in ten to twelve days. 
I don't know if this package is showing the right direction. Well, you have seen me <laughs> chitting other seeds here. I generally say starting because, you know, look at this. We have somebody in here that should have been out quite a while ago. Look at this. Still wet inside. This is one of my avocado seeds. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Guess who's getting in a pot today? And it's germinated. It's not like I just stuck it in soil and had to wait. I know this one is going to germinate. Because it already has. <laughs> My soil is wet enough here. We're gonna a little more water. I'm gonna make sure these roots are down in there. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But I also had something else in the little package here. The bo boba, bobia. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. These seeds have been in here for so long. I don't even know if they're good, but we're gonna take a look and see what happened. Then I'll just start again in the spring. But my seeds were old. Yep. They don't even show signs of germinating. So, back in you go. Also put the cabbage seeds back in a little container here. Back in a warm spot they will go. Well, there you go, my friends. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, friends, that's all I have for today. I want to thank you for stopping by my channel. I want to thank Janita for hosting this very fun open collaboration. I also want to thank our friend who um, asked the question. I need you to check out the uh, playlist and be for sure you check out the um, uh, description box because that's where I'm going to put the hashtag, the um, host channel, and our friend that asked the question. So you can go over and take a look at his channel. So I'm gonna keep this channel, so I'm gonna keep this video short so you'll have a chance to go over and say hi. <laughs> so, bye-bye my friends. Mm -hmm. It's time now for real. So bye-bye. Bye-bye <laughs> friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs>